Welcome to the Codophones. Every Thursday, join us on the Codophone. A repeat is done on Saturday, 13 hours. The Codophone is looking for a sponsor. Today on the Codophone, we feature Mulemena Muntine. Mulemena Muntine has a rare combination. He is able to use his mouth, produce sound that is like a saxophone. And also, he is able to play a guitar. Welcome, my guest, Mulemena, on the Codophone. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? First things first. Sure. Who is Mulemena? Um, Mulemena is a, a gospel artist who plays guitar and other instruments and uses his mouth to also to be used as an instrument. I like that moment. Sure. What has been your inspiration? How did you start? Not with the mouth, or okay. people have a dead heard it, but playing the guitar. Where did you learn it? Well, I learned the guitar from my dad. Yeah. Um, my dad used to play guitar and still he still plays guitar. He's still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. <laughs> Mr. Charles Mutine. Yeah. Um, he I, 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 I used to be interested, you know, each time he plays guitar and just leaves it there, I would grab it and start uh, experimenting, you know, with different sounds. I would be so interested in knowing how to play a guitar. So he actually noticed that interest in me and I, I begged him to teach me at least even two chords for a start. Just two chords Just two to chords. start. <laughs> yes. how, how old were you by then? Uh, I think I was uh, somewhere, somewhere, maybe uh, somewhere 18, somewhere there. 18. That sure. was not a long time ago. Maybe. Not so long time, I think. How many years ago from now? <laughs> uh, uh, well, about uh, roughly 13 years. 13, 13 years. years. So Mulemena has been playing the guitar for the past one decade. About 13 years, 12 <laughs> to 13 years. What? <laughs> an interesting uh, part. Mulemena, I would like you to give us one sample of a song. We'll come to the interview okay. later. All right. Okay. Thank you. 
lovely piece. I can't believe it. <laughs> I was going to say, play it to my ears. Again, <laughs> but are you sure you don't have anything in your mouth? No, I don't have anything. How do you twist your tongue or, or, or your mouth <laughs> to produce such a sound? I'd like to learn. <laughs> uh, well, you just uh, twist it a bit, like, I'll, I'll just demonstrate, like, you just make it a bit, and you just tighten up your lips a bit, mm -hmm. and leaving a small space for... Like air. you want to whistle? Exactly, like you want to whistle, mm -hmm. and then you use your, your vocals to blow through that space. For how long have you been <laughs> doing that? Uh, well, I've been doing this for, well, maybe roughly, roughly five years, five years to six years. You are the second person I've seen do that. The first okay. one I met was in Zambia. Okay. He was able to mimic birds and other things wow. and also sing, but not combined with the guitar. Okay. And you are the second one I've seen. Really? <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's, it's a rare gift. How, what inspired you to start doing that? Well, I was inspired by a, a fellow gospel artist. Uh, he's Kenyan. Kenyan. Yeah, okay. he, he, he does the same thing. Uh, he, he's even produced album, uh, albums using the, the same technique of uh, using the vocal sax. Yeah, um, I first met him in, in Tanzania. There was a music fellowship where he was performing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I got I got inspired by what he was doing, and I was I was really taken by by that. Uh, it was my first time witnessing such kind of uh, a talent. I, I thought of taking it. Did up. Did you have to sit under his feet to learn? Oh, how, how, how did it happen? I, I made sure I approached him that day mm -hmm. outside the, <laughs> the concert, right? Out, just outside there, I, I approached him and he, he taught me the secret. Was he accommodating? Very friendly, very accommodative. And Are you also accommodating to others? And no, I, I have no problem with it. There's <laughs> just this thing of <laughs> celebrities where uh -huh. when the young person comes to them or someone they don't know, Okay. They'll give them a cold shoulder. So it was in Tanzania. in Tanzania. And the Kenyan was playing at a concert in Tanzania. Yes. And the Zambian by the name of Mulemena Muntine yes. approached him after the concert. Sure. And then he showed you the tricks of the trade. Yes. Actually, we were a group of us because I, 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 went, I didn't go there as an individual. I went with a group called the Fishers of Men. We were participating. Fishers of Men. Yeah, okay. Fishers of Men. So we, we, we approached him. Yeah, and um, I have actually friends who are also there who do the same thing, but they're in Zambia. They're in Zambia, oh. yes. <laughs> so you have yeah, so most of the yeah most most of the fishers of fishers of men guys are able to um, to do the same, except we have different textures. You you'd be surprised that uh, yours is a saxophone. And mine is a saxophone. Yeah, saxophone. Uh, yeah, there's someone I know who sounds like. Mm, of uh, uh, violin, no, no, not violin, <laughs> but some other type of a saxophone. Okay. Because there are, there are different types. There's a tenor saxophone, the soprano, but mine is inclined to the soprano sax. Hey, others, yeah. <laughs> are, are you in touch with that person? Yes, I'm in touch. Does he know <laughs> that you are this bad now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knows, and uh, yeah, we, we 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 communicate from time to time. What's his name? I'd like to know him. Uh, we'll have a number of them, like I said earlier. So mm -hmm. I'll just give you uh, the names of, uh, the, if, if you don't mind. Your inspirations. Nice Even outside the show, it's still okay. <laughs> it's still okay. okay. Yes, but just repeat a bit in case mm -hmm. those who are watching us who are not in the studio, okay. they think that we have a saxophone, a soprano saxophone somewhere that is playing. Okay. Please, I would like you just to play it a bit without the guitar. Okay. Then again, we combine. You combine the guitar and also your mouth sax okay. or so vocal saxophone. If you're not uh, playing another instrument, yeah. Mm -hmm. The voice can, uh, the, the vocal sax can sound better if you 
uh, put a sound box. <laughs> yes, some sound <laughs> like <laughs> a sound box. Yeah, a box. Yeah. So you just uh, press your mouth, like your, your lips like that, mm. for you to leave a small space. Yeah. And then you go like. So, uh, with practice, you, 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 you get better. Practice, practice makes perfect. You are watching the Codophones. We are looking for sponsors on the Codophones. We would like to bring back the old time religion here on the Codophone. We will strive to feature as many people as possible. I hope you are inspired by Mulemena. The name Mulemena used to be big in the music industry. The Mlemena boys, those days, are sure. you related to them? I'm very much related. Talk to me. <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> well, um, the founder of uh, the Mlemena band or the Mlemena boys, as a lot of people know it, Emmanuel Mlemena. Emmanuel Mlemena. Yeah. Uh, sure. <coughs> uh, he's, um, he, he, used to, he, he used to be my, my grandfather. Yeah, in the sense that uh, he was um, he was the elder brother to my grandmother from my mother's side. I hope I didn't make that complicated. No, no, no. no. Your <laughs> grandmother from your mother's side. Yes. Now Emmanuel Mlemena was the brother. Yes. Let me not divert you. We are coming back to uh, okay. to that part. What was the message in the song that you were playing? Okay, the message. Uh, Okay. As, as you go to the message, let okay. me allow you to play just a bit of it in case viewers have forgotten okay. a rare combination of the soprano saxophone and a chordophone or the guitar. Repeat the same song, we are not in a hurry. Repeat it just a bit. Then. message um, it talks about the Holy Spirit begging the Holy Spirit not to leave us yeah because personally I wouldn't want to to be in a situation where you are void of the Holy Spirit it would not be a good thing so each time I play it I'm, I'm really um, I'm really touched and uh, I really beg the Holy Spirit not to, 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 not to leave me. It reminds me of those times of jazz where the African Americans would team up together, play jazz. It had meaning they could not use any word. But without going further, viewers, music is music. Whatever is good, you don't need to be taught. You can smell it, you can hear it. That was lovely. It took me also to another level. It, it, it helped me to sort of meditate okay. whilst you were playing. Coming back to the Mlemena boys, do you still remember any <laughs> of their songs, the old ones? Um, or just how the rhythm was going? Well, I, I listened to some of his recordings and one of the songs that uh, I really love, like mm -hmm. my favorite, um, it's the one which goes on the main would, would you would you allow me to uh, uh, strumming I know it's a summer <laughs> just a bit of some okay. 
So it goes like. interested in in the gospel one but sure. I just wanted to, to to prove that really the blood of the Blemena brother <laughs> still flows in you <laughs> okay we sure. are going to the next song okay please tell us what are you going to play preempty okay. tell us the message okay um, this the next song uh, that I'm going to play is uh, nearer my God to the to him. So yeah. Him. So uh, I'll encourage the viewers out there to, if they have their their hymn books around, they can also meditate and just read through all the the um, the verses starting from the the first one and understand the words. Yeah. Later in the program, we have orchestration time on the chord of one. At this time, you have been allowed to look for your hymn book and also join us as Mlemena Muntine plays using his vocals or vocal sax and guitar a song nearer to Nearer My God to Nearer me. My God to Me. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, please take us through that hymn. Mm. I hope 
you were inspired by that so inspiring song? What do you think of when you are playing this piece? Well, um, I think of the comfort that's found in Jesus Christ. No wonder every day I, I beg the Lord that I should be closer to Him because it's the safest place to, to be, especially around this time when we're, we've been hit by so many plagues. Yeah, right, right now other people are battling uh, the coronavirus. It's a thing that has affected the whole world and there's no uh, other place where we can uh, run to a, apart from uh, the comfort of God. Which of the verses is your favorite? Well, I won't pick out a particular verse to be my favorite because the, all the verses just make one full package. So I really appreciate all the, the verses. I would like to repeat that song, just to bless one dear viewer. Just a few stanzas. In case you've just joined us on the chordophones, we have Mulemena Muntine playing a combination of the soprano sax and also the guitar. So I've just raised the key a bit. exercises before before you know doing the vocal sax mm -hmm. you can end up damaging your vocal cords even permanently okay yeah so it's it's important for those that want to to take up this uh, challenge mm -hmm. to always uh, do vocal exercises before they do the vocal sax because you can end up damaging your vocal cords you have heard, viewers, <laughs> everything has got do's and don'ts. Um, Mulemena Mtine is a nutrition uh, technologist, or we may just simplify it to say he is a nutritionist. Mulemena, how do you combine your career 
with music? <laughs> well, uh, I would say, I would simply say, this, 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 these two things are not very different from each other. Like from what others would, like how it may seem to be. Because food and music, they're the same thing. <laughs> to me, it's music <laughs> is food. <laughs> 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 yeah. And um, just like nutrition is important in, uh, in, in maintaining our health mm -hmm. and even curing other diseases, diseases, so is music. Music can even cure other diseases. So they're not very different from each other. So um, it's challenging at times trying to balance up because uh, sometimes you might be called up for work and you're, you're supposed to attend to a music uh, fellowship or attend, uh, attend to other uh, music programs. But uh, they're not so different. If, uh, the, uh, the other thing I would say about uh, nutrition and music, uh, when you're making your diet, when you, uh, you have a variety of food stuff and you want to, mm -hmm. to formulate a meal or what, whatever you, you want to prepare, you combine different spices and different, you add this and that. Mm -hmm. It's the same when you are making music. You add the sax, you add the guitar. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I hope you are getting inspired viewers. We are on the codophone with Mulemena Muntinde, a food nutritionist or a nutrition technologist. He's explained how he manages with his career and also music. And he says to him, music is food. And in nutrition, food is good for the body, just like music is good for the soul. You are watching The Code of One. If you are interested in sponsoring this program, please check the number that is scrolling, or you can get in touch with the producer on 0977-108-708. We would like to hear from you. If you are talented in playing any instrument, especially a stringed instrument. Get in touch wherever you are from. We will be able to feature you on the code of one. Without wasting much ado, I go back to Mulemena. Give us your next piece. Bless us with another piece.
It's a, it's a Nyanja song. Uh, uh, it says, uh, my help comes from God. I, I raise my eyes to you and call upon your name. Because that's where my help comes from. My help comes from God. That's just um, a simple it's meaning behind it. Yeah. Tell us, does it remind you of any time you're passing through challenges or 
problems in life? Sure, it does. It really does. Um, my, my background in my life hasn't been rosy and smooth all, all the time. I, I passed through some challenges and you know how life is. How life is. We, we're still passing through challenges. And each time I face challenges, I just call upon his, his name because I know that's where my help comes from. Just there, as we talk about challenges in life, let me be personal a bit. <laughs> sure. Are you married? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Very married. How long have you been in your marriage? <laughs> um, uh, we're, we're clicking six uh, months now. Wow, I could have loved to see you with your sure. madam here. Do you <laughs> sing together? Um, yes, at home we sing together, but we've never sang together at church. Okay. We're hoping one of these days. We'll have you together. taught her how to twist the mouth? <laughs> produce a soprano or tenor <laughs> saxophone? <laughs> Uh, she, she, she thinks it's very risky and she doesn't even want to try it, but uh, I'd really love to teach her if she insists. Yeah, and she, if she stops uh, getting scared. <laughs> Playing instruments? Yeah, she's, uh, she's very willing to learn instruments and one of the tasks that I have is to teach her all the instruments I know. We come back to the challenges. I'm not talking about challenges in okay. marriage, but just in life in general. Before you compose that song, or before, uh, the song that you were playing, what are some of the challenges that you went through? Not in marriage. Okay. I'm talking about life in general. It could even be as a gospel <laughs> artist. As a gospel artist. Well, it's not easy to, to be a gospel artist. Uh, the uh, the, all those pressures that you go through, sometimes you are, like as you are growing up, as you are a teenager, you're trying to compare secular and gospel and gospel. <laughs> because uh, usually teenagers are very energetic and they want something that, you know, <laughs> always keep them in a hyper uh, mood. Just there, the temptation when you are learning chords on a, on a guitar, mm -hmm. at times you are tempted to go elsewhere or what? Are those what you're talking about, or comparing yourself to others? Or well, that's to yeah. That's just part of uh, that's just one challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you really have to to know your purpose and why you're there. So for me, uh, I think there is a lot. The reason why I'm still a gospel artist and haven't gone the other way, mm -hmm. it's because um, I think there's a lot that God has done for me, and throughout my entire entire life, if I were to to do a service for him. I don't think I would repay um, whatever, I would pay the debt, you know, like, I feel I owe God a lot because he's done a lot for me. And whatever I do, there's nothing that can compare to what he's done for me. My growing up wasn't that easy. I, I, I come from a very humble home. At some point, I struggled with school and other, other things. So, um, gospel and God has always comforted me and he's always reminded me that he's always there with me and he's proven, he's, I mean, he's proved. I like that God that is always there for you. Sure. Do you sometimes have offers from other churches or churches that not, are not Adventist to help them in music or to, to maybe uh, get you into their domination? Uh, into their church? Well, um, and, uh, I, I've interacted with a lot of non Adventists and uh, they're very welcoming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've played, uh, uh, I've played um, gospel songs in other denominations. And uh, I think none of them, no, uh, none, of, none of them ever requested me to, to join them. But they just requested for my services, so it, it, it was up to you. Oh, okay. yeah. Teach them also. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, as we, before we go to orchestration time, on the chordophone, which is a lesson on guitar or violin, um, let me ask you one uh, question. What is your comment over the evolving of music? 
Well, um, over the years, music has evolved. It's no longer the same as we uh, as, as it used to sound way back. Um, the people that have really tried to conserve the you know the old the old time the old style, yes. which is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, okay, let me not put a but. <laughs> There's a uh, music has really changed, and I won't say it's changed for the. You know, How have you managed to maintain the guitar and also the other instruments, okay. the mouth? The vocal side, so forth. <laughs> How have I what? How maintained when okay. things are changing and the world okay. is looking for <laughs> complicated <laughs> music instruments and spending yourself? You just use the mouth and the guitar. Well, uh, I think uh, for a very uh, for for a musician who's creative, um, all the past methods of um, all, all, all the past instruments that are you know that uh, all those in instruments that have been used in the past and with the inclusion of uh, vocal sax or whatever you can use you can actually mix it up with uh, modern styles and come up with completely different styles so uh, I, I still stick to um, the old instruments and other things that were used way back in order to improve and then to come up with new sounds like um, Thank you so much. I like one way <laughs> that you use creativity. Creativity, yes. A bad carpenter would blame his tools. But if you are creative, <laughs> whatever yes. you have, even the mouth given to you by God itself, exactly. can become a powerful instrument if used by God. At this point, we go for a short break. It's time for orchestration time. It's orchestration time, lessons on the code of one. Good evening, once more, uh, guitar students. We are going to look simply at the basics of guitar playing. I will not go into detail into it because there is no time. But uh, last time when we met, two weeks ago, precisely I think, we discussed the parts of the guitar. We looked at the body, we looked at the neck, and we looked at the, at the pegs, or the, the head. We saw that, um, that uh, um, the guitar also has got some strings, uh, which have got two uh, names. Uh, the strings have got numerical names, we saw that, and it has got also letter names. Maybe we, should, we, we can just uh, recap what we said. We said the, the numerical names are one, two, three, four, five, six. It's important for, know, for us to know that. The, other, uh, the letter names are E, B, G, Since today we are going to deal with the uh, chord formation, how the chords are made, we just need to know uh, a little more than what we, we said. So we move forward a bit. We are going to, uh, give, to name the, the, uh, the frets as number one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. So. Our left hand has got fingers that help us to make the chords. We have got finger number one, number two, number three, and number four. Today our main concern is to form what you call primary chords. Like I had said before, we can be able to play almost any song with the three chords. These are the chords that are made in, in, a, in a do. We call that one a do chord. Sometimes you call it a tonic chord in any key. And that chord is going to have three members. It will have do, me, and so. 
is in this case. Do, mi, so, do, do, mi, so, even if some are repeated, but there are actually three members. So this is what you call the home key. It is the most important of the of the three. The do chord. Now, the next one is what you call the fa chord or the subdominant chord. It goes like this. To be a fa, la and do. Fa, la, do, fa, la, do. So that is the combination. Now, the last chord, the last primary chord we are going to discuss today is what you call the so chord. The so chord is also known as the dominant chord. And it is the one which is, it has got uh, more uh, members in it. Instead of just three, it will have four. So, um, the so chord is here. So, ti, re, fa. So, ti, re. All of those uh, are the members. So, the chord number five, or the so chord, has got more members and sounds like this. So, now making an application, we are going, now going to talk about uh, chord progression. I'll start with chord number one, chord four, chord five, chord one. Applying those chords now to a song, uh, here's a song. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. Sing, Osana, sing, Osana. Sing Osana to the King of Kings. Sing Osana, sing Osana, sing Osana to the King. Thank you. I hope you have learned something from there. Now we can apply many other chords from that, but this, these are the basic chords. The other chords that we could apply are simply for decoration. Thank you. I hope you have learned something. We will continue from there next time. May God bless you all. Welcome back on the Codophone. Thank you, Elder Hamumbe, with the lesson on guitars on the Codophone. We continue with Mulemena Mtine on the Codophone. I would like to straight away go into the next piece. Okay, sure. The reason in my love to hear It sounds like music in my ear And hard times I will not despair Thank you. 
so great This name is the reason why I still live This name is the reason why I still breathe There is no other name like it This name is mighty and so great This name is the reason why I still live Thank you so much. This song was hyper beat. <laughs> More like in the blues and this and that. I know for young ones <laughs> it's uh, quite uh, interesting. What, sure. what does it remind you of? Well, it doesn't remind me of anything in particular, but it really um, it reminds me that uh, I, I actually love to hear the name of God because there is no other name that is better than the name of God. We all have different names and they sound cool, but the name of God is above all names. And like uh, the first verse went like, um, it sounds like music in my ear mm -hmm. because of what he's done for us and what he is to us. So his name is music. <laughs> Excellent. His name is music. His name is Jesus. That was the song that Mlimena Muntine played. Sure. Do you have any album? Um, I don't have an album. What are you waiting for? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm beginning to record an album uh, this, uh, probably at the end of this month. Yeah. Okay. You need to be ready. Uh, yeah, by the end of by the end of the year. Oh, by yeah, the end of the year. By the end of the year, I promise. Promised by viewers and all those that want to listen to more of uh, Mulemena. Mulemena, yes. And um, yeah. What would be your last words? Uh, because after the talk, mm -hmm. I would like us to engage the viewers. We will play them one song. Um, we'll play them one even song that they will join us. Okay. But what, what, what are your last words now? Um, my last words um, to the viewers, uh, well, I'll just encourage all those um, musicians out there and the people that are watching there to utilize whatever gifts they have. Uh, some of these gifts, may, you may look at them they may seem not to be very, very important, but we can use them to uplift the name of, of God. For example, if I just do a sax, uh, just walk in the street, other, other people will just be saying, what is this? And you know, they, they won't appreciate that much, but beautifully combined with musical instruments, it can bring out a, um, a sound that can be uplifted. So they can use whatever gifts they have, be it, uh, uh, drums or whatever instruments you play or whatever you use with your mouth whatever you have to uplift the name of God just go on with it because it was given to you by God thank you so much whatever you can use with your instrument please use it to glorify his name we are not talking about foreign things we are talking about even using your mouth I've seen others using the armpit and others <laughs> clapping, whatever is acceptable. Use it for the glory of God. At this point, I would like to engage Mulemena. 
and rehearsed. Let's sing a song, Come, Come Thou Found. Come Thou Found, for the viewers. <laughs> viewers, in this remaining five minutes, you can join us with a song entitled, Come Thou Found. Thank you, viewers. We have come to the end of the program that we prepared for you today. On today's program, we featured Mulemena Muntine, the person who has proved to say you can use your mouth to produce sound like a saxophone. So vocal sax or vocal saxophone is what he demonstrated to us combined with the chordophone or a stringed instrument. We look forward to meeting you this coming Thursday, 18.30, and also Sabbath, 13 hours. If you want to sponsor the Code of Horns, you are welcome. We are looking for sponsors. If you would like to feature on the Code of Horns, or you know of someone that can be a blessing to a viewer out there, please link them to Hope Channel Zambia. For now, it's been my pleasure, Mulemena. Thank you so much to it's have accepted this invitation. It's been a pleasure. Please uh, feel free to invite me again. May the Lord bless you on the Code of Honor and also bless your family. Thank you very much. <laughs>